Well, for 40 years or so, I've been studying how molecules react. In chemistry, you get to invent things that have never been done before. The beauty of his work in chemistry is that he has this, you know, that, that thing uh, which, is, uh, uh, which is beyond science, which is beyond the analytical mind. I think the, mo the molecules actually talk to him. <laughs> Julius, as a mentor, is great. He's really approachable. He knows everything, so you can ask him whatever you want. Even when he's extremely busy, he'll make the time to come out and, and find me after, after he's finished with what he's doing, and so we can meet one-on-one -on -one and discuss whatever problems I have. I was a little nervous on approaching him because, you know, he's well-established in, uh, in science, and he knows a lot more than I do. So he's a little intimidating, but after a couple months, I found out that that's not the case. He's really approachable, a uh, real nice guy, great sense of humor. He's nice, he's open mind, you can talk with him normally. He, he makes some jokes, he's so... You, I couldn't think that the, the great Professor Rebecca that you hear about ev everywhere in France could be so accessible. You can talk to him, he's open, he will answer you, he will learn you a lot of things just on the whole life. That's great. And professionally, he's also very accessible. You can go and tell him, okay, I have this problem, how could I do that? This reaction doesn't work, that's a basic question, but he's gonna help you. He's gonna tell you his ideas, and they are great ideas. He's got a strong knowledge, and he shares it with you. You learn a lot of things from him. That's so great to learn something from the Professor Beck. You are so proud. I'm here, I work with this guy. That's great. He has passion. You can see the passion. And that makes science interesting, because science without passion is just, just knowledge. The greatest advantage of being in Rebeck's laboratory and performing this work at, in Rebeck's laboratory is the access to resources, both intellectual and um, physical. The type of chemistry we do in Julius's lab is super molecular chemistry, and that in itself is interdisciplinary. So we get to learn a lot of different types of chemistry, like uh, we work on synthesizing molecules, but then after we synthesize them, we have to know many techniques to study them. And so you learn a little bit of synthetic chemistry and analytical chemistry, and it really helps in terms of just thinking about problems and how to solve them. Additionally, we have access to some pretty, pretty awesome instrumentation. We have our own uh, 600 megahertz NMR, and um, that makes um, obtaining data quite easy and nice. We have some great lectures in biology as in chemistry, so we can go to the lectures and what is funny is in, this, in these rooms, on the first range, there is some Nobel Prize who sit down there and look at the same lecture as you, so that, that's great. You feel great and so you can believe in it. You see this Nobel Prize and they are normal people. They are here, you can talk to them, so you can believe it's possible. So that's great. The scientific environment and craves, really. I would say the most exciting part about working on the project I'm working on is uh, I guess the freedom that you have with it. So it's pretty much, it, it gives you a lot of a uh, chance to express your creativity or however you think about it. If you have a good idea, you can try it. What's important in our group is uh, that you can work independently. It's not like that everybody or that somebody will tell you what to do every day. So you will have to work on your own most of the time. But of course, if you have some, some difficulties, there's always a person to talk to and there's also a very nice discussion going on with all the other students in the lab? Yeah, for the last 20 years or so, uh, most of the people that come to work for me are people that want to use me as a model for their own academic uh, future. So more than 60% of the postdocs and graduate students who've worked with me uh, over the last 20 years have gone on to academic jobs. The work I've done at Scripps and Julius's group has played a, a big role in my career. Uh, getting a PhD is the pretty much the first step uh, for me in becoming a professor one day. It's been the best experience in my career so far. I like it a lot.
I will give you the best of the resources, instrumentation, space, financial support, and moral support. But the intensity has to come from you, the independence, and the hard work. We can do it together.